Well, just how bad are South Carolina's roads right now after all the rainfall and flooding that we just went through? It's a question many of you have asked us, and as Robert Kittle reports, the DOT gave us some answers today, including what it may cost to fix all that damage. Garners Ferry Road is a major traffic artery through Columbia that's been shut down since the flooding when it looked like this. According to the DOT, 29 primary roads remain closed after the flooding. But the DOT is working as fast as possible to get them open again. Crews were working on Garners Ferry and others Thursday morning. Now the question is, how much is all this going to cost? Interim DOT Secretary Christy Hall told the DOT Commission the agency is still assessing the damage. We still have water on roads in Georgetown County. We can't even get in and, and see what they, uh, what type of damage we have. Um, I'm expecting that it's probably going to be Thanksgiving or later before I'm able to come before you with a number. The state already needed an estimated one and a half billion dollars more per year for about 20 years just to bring our roads and bridges back up to good condition. And that was before this. What the new damage will mean for our road budget worries Grace Saunders. I guess like with the damages and stuff, it's probably going to set things back for a while, I would assume. But Hall says federal highway money and federal emergency management agency relief should pay for most of it. With the needs the state already had before this, how much does this set us back? Well, we hope it doesn't. We hope it doesn't set us back at all, because if it does, then we've got to catch up more gain. I mean, you know, we can't afford to go backwards. Garners Ferry Road reopened for traffic Thursday afternoon, easing what had been traffic jams every day. In Columbia, Robert Kittle, News 2. And federal highway money will pay for damage to interstates and primary and secondary roads that qualify for federal aid. And then money from FEMA will pay for debris removal and repairing roads that don't qualify for federal highway money. And look at how far we've come with opening South Carolina roads since the floods. On October 5th, there were 541 roads and bridges closed around this state. Well, now, 10 days later, that number is down to 251.